This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, my heart. Oh, wait. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, is... I have a hard seltzer. I have no, a hard seltzer. That's great. I thought you were holding up what it looked like without seeing the can top. It looked like you were holding up like a can, uh, a bottle of some sort of cleaning solution. Oh, yeah. Was... I have been drinking a little cleaning solution mm. lately. For sure. For sure. This cleans me out. No, this is cleaning solution to me technically today <laughs> because I'm a little hungover. And so now it's three o'clock. And I'm like, I'm going to have a hard seltzer with the podcast. That's how I'm going to rationalize taking the edge off. Yes. Uh, and you well, are coffeeing. Good for well, you. Well, no, I have Diet Coke in this. Uh, in a coffee mug? In a coffee mug. Just because. Well, I got played. Yeah, you got played. We ran out of uh, coffee this morning, so I have to go and buy some. That's how lazy I've been of leaving my house since I've been back. Yeah, well, you've been super freaking busy, y'all listening. I don't know. Did we say last week that you were going to your residential and meeting all your classmates for the first time? I That's the thing. I can't remember what I actually say on here versus what I say yeah. on our Patreon versus what versus I... Versus what we just say to each other as friends. Yeah, so I was at school uh every quarter of my school we basically have this weekend from thursday to sunday where it's just like intensive classes and they've That's only been on crazy. zoom up until this last weekend when we were finally all in person together uh at the campus which is like two hours away from los angeles and it was such a great weekend so wonderfully um inspiring and exhausting because it's like you know, you see and interact with all these people online, yeah. something we're very familiar with for a year and a half. And then mm -hmm. you go see everyone in person. And I really did feel starstruck by all of my like yeah. fellow students when I walked in. It was so like just so much exciting energy. Well, it's almost like I feel when we would do YouTube mm -hmm. conventions, etc. First of all, everyone comes up and is like, oh my God, the lower half of your body. Yeah. First of all, because they totally. only see you talking to camera. Yeah. But then also, you meet people that you go, oh, you're shorter than I thought you'd be. Yeah. Everyone was uh, pretty much exactly. <laughs> I think I was really, I was the outlier that was taller than what everyone assumed I would be, which is just, you know, par for the course at this point. Uh, yeah. And it was great. I, but it was at the same time, not like VidCon because you're not going to like perform. You're going to learn. <laughs> oh, you're not going to drink whatever free. Yeah. Remember when Fruity every Pebbles convention, the, vodka. it was Fruit Loops vodka. Fruit Loops. We would get turned yeah. on Fruit Loop vodka and soda. Yeah. So I was coming in with a little bit of that as my, um, you know, latest frame of reference for this kind of situation and then realizing almost immediately this is very different than that. OK, you weren't dancing to the Black Eyed Peas well, in a weird convention center with purple lighting. There was a little bit of that at one point. One night there was a dance party and that was actually I was like, oh, I'm back in playlist life. Hell right now. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. But just running in circles with Michael Buckley to Backstreet Boys. Uh, but before all of that, it was a lot of sitting at desks and listening to lectures and watching PowerPoint presentations. Whoa. So, yeah. My body was having a, a bit of like um, the tension of like wanting to like get up and, you know, have that weird chaotic feeling of a convention, but having to reconcile sitting down and actively listening and learning with everyone it was great That's, it was really great i mean i would be so like desensitized or sensitized i don't know which word <laughs> because like you're so used to people not seeing everything you're doing that right. i'd be like did i just scratch my butt in front of everyone you so know that like, was my issue uh, that, that i was well it's also like this class i can't mute my fart i know I want, a, in a real classroom a class of incredibly beautiful people that are all m so spiritual and in, in touch with like their minds and bodies and how they connect to each other which is something i'm not uh very much in line with and so to sit and just be and listen i yeah. was having a lot of what am i oh the I'm sitting weird. I'm doing something weird. <laughs> just being yes. so cognizant and having to shake that out of my brain and actually just like take notes and pay attention. Um, but it was great. Everyone was absolutely wonderful. It was just four days of just being around people and uh, being in a situation that was just like totally felt like a different dimension that I was existing in for four days. Hardly checked my phone other than like 
actual emails and like texts I had to respond to. Wow, that's so grown up. Uh, very grown up and cool. But then to like come back to life um, and even like for the last couple hours trying to look at the Internet for like what to talk about this week. I'm like, holy shit. The Internet's Dude, crazy and everyone's you, doing crazy things. <laughs> you are like a like a a healthy a mentally healthy person who isn't obsessed with online culture for a few days um yeah ish ish, oh, ish. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna get but you're gonna get that sweet sweet notification on your phone that your screen time was down oh this that, past week that's when my mom was in t- no well first of all when my mom was in town i got that notification it was like it's down 40 wow. percent because i was actually talking to my mom and doing things and not looking at my phone the whole time yeah. or like when chip's in town my screen time goes down because i'm not looking to see if he texted right 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 romantic i know yeah that's a bit of the reward but it also just uh reminds me how hilarious the internet is as soon as you go back and log on and you see what everyone's up to and you're like this is so chaotic and well crazy. first of all you weren't online for four days and elon musk done bought twitter i know what do we do we care i, I don't know i don't know i do, i <laughs> to be honest when i wrote that down i was i literally wrote down Elon Musk buys Twitter. Do we care? Yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't stopped, know. I stopped. You know, it's funny. Uh, my little you don't brother. Use Twitter. I don't use Twitter. My little brother asked me the other week if I cared about that. And I was like, I don't use Twitter because I don't. It just I don't enjoy it. It makes me very stressful. But I will look at it to see, you know, what the major news, news. things mm-hmm. might be happening every day. If there's something really important that's, you know, trending. Um, but I, I, I just. Elon Musk news I really don't care about unless he does something really good for the world. <laughs> yeah, well, as we know, the only Elon Musk you, news you need is that I would sleep yeah, with yeah, him yeah. For, for half of his money. Yeah, to, um, to do good for the world eventually. For, to do good for the world, <laughs> I would literally take one for the team. It would last 90 seconds. Um, no, but but that's another thing about him is someone's like, oh, really? He just bought Twitter for $43 billion when... Was it the UN or I forget who it was. He was like, I will donate six billion dollars to help end world hunger if you can show me a plan that shows that it will do that. And then they showed the plan and he never paid it. I like he very see. much is the guy who's like, oh, just you wait. I'm getting uh, mm-hmm. I'm really thinking up a, a good something for you. And then like never gives you anything. Yeah, I did see a tweet that was like, I bought me a Twitter instead of ending a world <laughs> hunger. <laughs> It's like god yeah oh it's my funny god. but also so crazy serious the worst and, uh um, but yeah i do have some twitter news though please i was on twitter <laughs> i believe yesterday uh-huh. that's the news that's the news <laughs> screen time's up uh but that's the news i was on twitter yesterday and i the first tweet to pop up in my feed and i believe it was a retweet because i didn't follow the person mm-hmm. was Stop what you're doing and go look at who KFC follows on Twitter. Oh. And did you follow those directions? I immediately did that. I immediately (laughs) did that. Do you want to look it up? Do you have Twitter pulled up? I mean, I can, but will it take... You're going to be shook. About KFC, like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken, baby. I assume that their handle is KFC. Okay, yes, It is, indeed. They follow 11 people. Mm -hmm. And it is, uh, okay, it's all the Spice Girls? All guys named Herb and the Spice Girls. (laughs) Herbs and Spices! Oh my god! Isn't that perfect? Okay. It's just some dudes named Herb. Or Herb, I guess. Herbs. Herb. And uh, people aren't named Herb. They're named Herb. And the Spice Girls. Wow. That's so fucking funny to me. So the social media manager for Twitter is really speaking in some uh, riddles right now, which is yeah, incredible. Yeah, that's, like that's a and deep puns. cut joke that like, who's the first person to even check who they follow? You know? Yeah. Like, I've never been like, who does Funyuns follow? <laughs> you know, like, you don't look that up. But now I'm really curious about who Funyuns follow. I know. Well, who knows? Who, it's just... It's just it's just that one account that's half an onion. Yeah. yeah Remember yeah. when that thing got like a million followers? 
I followed half an onion for a few minutes and then I was like, all right, I'm done with these onion tweets. Yeah, there was something about, I think I followed an egg for a second uh, <laughs> that was doing some really funny social commentary. Uh, I love, there was a minute there where it was like, I'm going to follow Mamrie's nose. Yeah. Like when people, <laughs> when people were just naming handles a different body parts of ours. Yeah. That was so stupid. Oh, that's why the internet is the silliest, stupidest place of all uh, time. I love it. I love it. So herbs herbs and spices, baby. Herbs it's and too spices. good. Herbs and good for them. And only like a select group of herbs. So I wonder what herbs are making the cut i bet they're like linked into actual herb names or something well the thing is is i wonder if herb will make a resurgence as a popular male name because they come you know how sometimes it'll be like oh everyone's named uh, michaela mckenzie mckindran like whatever it is yeah and then it's like oh no everyone's named like 17th century ghosts yeah it's like oh this is my daughter agatha yeah and <laughs> maleficent and <laughs> like I think, what, what i think i saw something uh maybe through twitter uh when looking up stuff to talk about that some woman tweeted like my husband wants to name our child jupiter please respond to this tweet saying no so that we don't name our child jupiter <laughs> right now i mean here's Not the, the worst if you name your kid Jupiter, I feel like you've got to give it a more grounded middle name. So mm-hmm. that way when the kid gets to an age, they can be like, yeah, no, I'm going by Sarah. Yeah. yeah. Or like whatever, you know, like, yeah. but it's still on the birth certificate. It's Absolutely. Just, I would love to be named Jupiter. I mean. Joop that, Joops. Yeah. Drops of Jupiter. You'd have drops a song of all about it. I would come already. up with uh, eye drops. I would own an eye drop company <laughs> <Yeah>. immediately. <laughs> Can we monetize these names? Uh, I don't care what guru told you otherwise. Sometimes happiness does not come from within, okay? Sometimes you need pure victory for happiness. You need to crush the competition. And in this competition, you're kind of playing against yourself because it is my favorite way to spend the day. Best Fiends! Best Fiends is so much fun. Best Fiends is a puzzle solving game you don't have to be connected to wi-fi you get to watch cute little creatures destroy slugs and they have all these new levels that are constantly added so like you're never gonna get bored playing it like right now because it was easter all the fiends had little bunny ears on it i mean you guys it does not get much cuter than that i am i think i'm on level like 215 or something it keeps getting harder but i just keep getting better at it it's so fun and once you download best fiends you can play anywhere you you don't need an internet connection, which is great if you're stuck without Wi-Fi. You know, sometimes we get on a flight and that uh, plane's Wi-Fi is not working. Hello. You collect tons of fiends that get powered up as you play more levels. Every win brings new challenges, thousands, literally thousands of puzzles to play. New in-game events are added all the time. Sometimes these fiends, they're at a dang saloon. Sometimes they're in space. Uh, these guys will keep you on your toes. So download Best Fiends for free from the App Store or Google Play. Plus, earn more than $5 worth of in-game rewards when you reach level 5. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. Prepare to make some new best fiends best fiends forever and also have your partner be mad at you because you have a glowing light all through the night because you just can't stop playing this fun game i think for most of us learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers i mean this is coming from me that uh, i took four years of latin in high school and it is whew, really Made me who I am today. But now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or you just have some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other language apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Their teaching methods have been scientifically proven to be effective. And with Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. 
Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. So start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. And right now, you'll save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash TMGW. That's Babbel. B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash TMGW for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Girl, why are you Can hungover? I you- oh, well. <laughs> or maybe we'll get to that. <laughs> no, I mean, that's 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 the first thing I say every morning when these peepers open. Yeah. Why are you hungover again? Where am no, I? I'm in- what happened? I'm in Palm Springs, obvs. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm down here with Kiwi writing the movie. Nice. Or, you know, starting, to literally putting page one together. And um, so she came down and then we went to Booze Hounds, I which you and I have been to before. Yes. Uh, y'all listening, it's a Palm Springs uh, restaurant that's really good. But they also, you're allowed to bring your dogs on the patio and they have a dog menu. Beans Ugh. and Trudy, because Kiwi has a <laughs> chihuahua. Uh both had a chicken weenie teeny. <laughs> so they're also hungover this morning. <laughs> they're also hungover. But we did the thing where we're like, well, the owner came over or the manager and she yeah. was like, I guess, I guess someone is a fan and was like, they called and were like, bring Mamrie free drinks. <laughs> so they did. So <laughs> she was, she was fully just like, I have no idea who you are. But someone, <laughs> one of my employees called and was like, get her some rounds of drinks on me. <laughs> so I was like, well, obviously I'm going to have some martinis. You're not rude. Yeah. I'm not an asshole. I, what am I going to do, a seltzer? Mm-hmm. So I did a couple martinis and then we came back here and I was like, let's have a nightcap. Mm-hmm. And then did the thing where we were like, we should definitely sign up for a 10 a.m. Pilates Zoom. We Wait, should do that for sure. That night, last <laughs> night, you decided to sign up for the next morning? Oh, we not only signed up... <laughs> Kiwi and I then moved the entire outdoor dining room table set, set up our mats, yeah. free weights, yeah. bands, Wait, you everything. Brought, you brought free weights down there with you? Kiwi had asked me like, hey, do you want me to bring some stuff in case we decide to like work out? Like yeah. we're going to be productive and we're going to work out. And we're going to, you know, balance. Like, yeah. Wellness, wellness. As I drink a hard seltzer at yeah. 3 p.m. <laughs> um, we had it all set up. My, my paper is open at 940 and I'm like. Oh, no. Absolutely not. Oh, God. Um, Went outside. What I thought would be shaded, direct sun. (laughs) Just a million degrees. (laughs) Pilates mat about to to melt. I text Kiwi. I'm like, you know, you put out the feelers of like, yeah, cool either way, man. Yeah. Like, are we doing this? Uh, Cool either way. And then no response. So I go and knock 10 minutes. And she's like, hello. (laughs) And I'm like, are we doing this? She's like, oh, shit. Yeah, I guess. And so we just moved the mats in and we did it. Wow. We worked out. Good for you guys. That's I know, incredible. But there, there's nothing funnier than doing like mat Pilates on the ground with two very small dogs because <laughs> every time you lay down to do crunches, they stand on your chest. Yeah, yeah. It's like goat yoga. Yeah. Like- <laughs> I think they have dog yoga. And this was like, I'm not trying to do puppy Pilates, but here <laughs> oh, no. we are. It was. So I was just like hungover, doing Pilates with a dog on me, just laughing. Wow. And I we mean, did it. that's, I mean, maybe perhaps speaking of how to do new business ventures, like the hungover Pilates with your dog scenario yeah. might and be just, a great option. I might get up and go work out more if I knew there were going to be tiny dogs running around to make me laugh. Or I would also go to workout classes if I knew everyone yeah. else in that class was hungover. <laughs> like, oh, that's true. Like if we all signed up and it was like under the premise that you are going to be fighting yeah. against what you wanted to do, which is sleep in and we're all yeah. in the same boat. Oh, I think I would right. enjoy that so much. <laughs> I think that's great because, <clears throat> sorry, <'cause>, um, <laughs> because when I go to a class, mm-hmm. you're right, sometimes I'm just looking around being like, I bet you bitches have been like living healthy for five years. Oh, yeah. Like, I bet you all had yeah. a Buddha bowl last night. 
<laughs> haven't haven't drank since your sister's wedding last June. Yeah, you had some green tea this morning that was pushing the caffeine minimum. Yeah. <laughs> you no, you're right. I want a class where it's totally normal to like sit out a set and have a sip of coffee. Yeah. And then also like occasionally someone just sits up and like make sure they're not going to puke yeah before like, they go back to plank there's some beautiful buckets all around that people can take with them if they need to into separate beautiful private buckets. rooms um but then there's also just the understanding that we're all really suffering for some stuff I love right it. now <laughs> misery loves company that's yes. the name of your gym <laughs> yeah um uh, but then tonight we're going up to pioneer town <gasps> crazy um, little town which is like 40 minutes away or something mm-hmm. um little y'all listening if you don't know what it is it's that scene in ingrid goes west where they go to a concert or where they go dancing it's like a little random hipster old west town mm-hmm. and we are going to go see bikini kill so we're gonna go see some fucking 90s female punk Ooh, at pappy and harriet's tonight fun 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 I know, but of course, I knew we were coming down here, and I looked at the schedule, and Kiwi is like, you know, Northwest 90s queen. I mean, like, I yeah. think Bikini Kill is actually said in 10 Things I Hate About You that she wrote. <laughs> cool. And, um, and so I said, I was like, hey, this is weird, but like, Bikini Kill is going to be down there when we're there. She was like, I'm on the list. <laughs> She was like, I just didn't think I'd be able to get down there. And I was like, well, <laughs> now we're going. Now we're on the list. Well, so. now it's happening. Now it's happening, so keep the hangover coming. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, my God. I, I want to tell you what happened to me when I got down here on Sunday. It wasn't a big, not a big deal, okay. but I just thought it was so funny, is I, of course, ordered way too much vegan food because mm-hmm. I was like, I just can't grocery store right now. Yeah. And and the grocery store near us is a whole vibe. Yep. Um, so I was like, I can't do it. So I got vegan food, and it gets dark out, but I see the delivery guy come, and I can see mm-hmm. him with his bag, and he's walking up. Yeah. And it's I feel like it's such a crab shoot now of crab shoot or crab shoot. Remember? Oh, it's ongoing. No one knows. Still don't know. I still just said crab shoot. I still just said crab shoot. It makes sense. Those things don't know which way they're going and you how can to shoot them easily in a bucket. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, have you seen the gif of a crab being boiled like uh, like a crab boil and he the person opens the lid and the crab is eating the corn? No, I haven't. I have to send it to you. It's crazy. I was, it's just like me. <laughs> I mean, it's like literally, he opens the lid and there is a crab in boiling water eating the that's, corn. That's how I picture you in your sauna suit. <laughs> it's just boiling yeah. <laughs> completely, but, but like, like eating, eating a croissant. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, so anyway, I see him and now it's a crap shoot. We'll mix it up mm-hmm. of whether like delivery people are going to want to see you come get the food or if they'll just leave it and go like you never know now if the knock if the knock is like i'm waiting for you to come out or it's like hey i'm leaving come get this before yeah uh, you know an animal does so anyway i hear the knock and then i'm like i don't see the feet leave i wait yeah i usually wait me too yeah but i don't see the feet leave so i just go and of course beans is barking yeah so i was just like oh hold on hold on i'm coming and then and then he goes police (gasps) oh He no. said police. Like wow. I knew it was the delivery guy. He was in cargo shorts. I saw him walk by. I'm like, who the fuck does that to a random house at night oh while delivering a cauliflower shawarma bowl? Someone that doesn't so, give a fuck. So I literally am walking. He says that. I'm walking to the door and I go, that's how you get hit. Like, that's how you, like someone gets their ass kicked. oh yeah yeah yeah. you know yeah. i i open the door it's like a guy probably 40 skinny tall mm-hmm. perfect black eye <laughs> no he had like a comical black eye and i was like black eye and this guy is still pulling <laughs> pranks on strangers <laughs> at night he's just testing his luck i mean wow. it was like little rascals like the dog from little rascals it was like a full black eye <laughs> You're like, I have now so many questions. I don't so want questions. any answers. Uh, Did you try this police thing last week? Yeah. And someone just popped you in the fucking face immediately? Uh, quick note, don't do that anymore. <laughs> don't do that anymore, guy. You don't scream fire when there's not one. Yeah, Anyway, exactly. I, was just, I, I just was like in awe. I was like, I just said wow. that's how you get hit in my head. And then wow. <laughs> there it was. Wow. Don't do that, guys. People are playing shenanigans all the time. Um, Don't do me. 
don't do I know like I always write please just leave in front of my door like I do well I didn't have the specifics because I'm in Palm Springs yeah like at home I'm like come through the gate leave it on the picnic table Bye. yeah you know but here I, I just realized there wasn't like specific directions uh, but yeah, yeah, next yeah. time I'll say don't pretend you're the cops <laughs> yeah, just leave my fucking food on the door <laughs> please leave the food no pranks thank you so much no pranks no pranks <gasps> Um, oh. Wait, hold on. I want to talk about this because, um, sweet listeners, if you're not a patron, you should be. Patron.com mm. slash might get weird. But one of the things Grace and I have been doing the last couple months, which has been super fun, yeah. is on Patreon, they have a thing called Lens, which is basically, it's basically an Instagram story. Yeah. But just for, just the patrons get to see it. And on Wednesdays, we, Grace and I, do lens day and so yeah. we basically instagram story just over there yeah just for patrons yep and this past wednesday mm-hmm. you had just checked into your place in santa barbara yeah. and yeah. it was a journey and i think like everyone needs to know about it yeah well so i wasn't staying on campus um this weekend because i'm too scared to do An that adult. right off the bat well i'm also <laughs> just like i don't socialize outside of like you and elliot yeah and so uh to be like sharing like bathrooms and stuff and also you guys have heard oh, the bathrooms. long legacy of my stomach situation so i was like i'm not gonna put that on myself or other people but also showering sorry if you're in college and you're listening to this showering and someone else's feet and naked body are one well, apparent i'm gonna do it next foot away i'm gonna do it next quarter but this quarter i was like i'm pushing my Can own I come and you're just like this is my weird roommate <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i'm like what's up guys come check out our posters we're throwing up purple jesus party at nine no that would really <laughs> be amazing um but I was like, I'm already pushing my like neurotic introvert ways by like going in person to the residential. So I'm just going to yeah. like play it safe and stay a few minutes off campus and uh, stay at this really cute hotel that was like it looked adorbs. super small, you know, maybe like 20 rooms or so. And they kept calling me like days before I had gone up just to check on what my like check in time was going to be. And I kept telling them it was going to be like you know between 6 and 6 30 i'm driving up i have to figure out like mm-hmm. what my day is um and they traffic ca- yeah and they had left voicemails even after i had like confirmed with a front desk person um and they have like this automated text messaging system too so that i was getting these automated text Don't messages me being like game. yeah being like if you're checking in today let us know if you're checking in late click this link whatever and i got another call like on my way up and i was like trying to confirm and then i got there and i realized that oh, they're checking this with me because I'm the only person here tonight. There's Crazy. literally no one. Like I got there, the parking lot was empty. The whole like lobby was empty and like had to do one of those like ring the bell uh, <gasps> to have someone come, which I like hate. fully like a lurch like you. I right? hate. Well, it just feels, you feel like a diva. Yeah, you feel like an asshole no matter what. You're like, but I'm standing there for like 30 seconds and then being like, I guess I'm going to have to ring this freaking bell. And I ring it and then the woman there was like on the phone. <laughs> she was like, I'm in the, I was in the bathroom. Sorry, I missed this. And I was like, oh, no worries. Uh, and then she like checked me in. She was like, I have this welcome plate for you. And it was like saran wrapped with like um, cheese and crackers mm. and like two. Mm, just a sweat. Sweaty manchego and a dried apricot. I fucking love it. And like two glasses of wine. I was like, it was only only me, but presumptuous. This is great. I'll take it. Uh, Then like only me. So throw in two more. Yeah, shows (laughs) shows me to my room and and was like, "Um, here you can actually park in the parking lot around behind the hotel that's off of like the main street. And I was like, oh, I'll find more people there and then park there. There's no one there. She like helps walk the tray with me and my stuff to the room. I get in there and then. Um, I'm like unloading my stuff and I'm realized like I'm looking around like all of the hallways and just being like, wow, I'm I'm the only person in this whole hotel. Were you worried there was like a murder there the previous week and that's why everyone else I decided mean, to cancel their reservations? There was also just like <laughs> there's I've heard in like uh, Summerland, which is like the area that this is in right next to Santa Barbara, that there is weird mystical activity there and that there is like 
you know, the town will, quote, tell you, like, if it wants you there or not. That's, Wait, what? Yeah, there's some, I guess if you Google it. Wait, what kind of Sedona shit is this? I know. So I was already coming in as a full pussy about the energies that might you be there. You already knew this and you still stayed in that town? Well, I assumed I'm staying at a hotel that uh, the hotel's going to be full of people. So, like, it won't be, but this is like a Wednesday night. This and so creepy. I get into my room and uh like i had told her like i'm here for a school th- thing so i like won't even be here during the daytime um and she had like tried to call my room again and the phones in the room like wouldn't answer so then like five minutes later she knocked on my door again was like do you have everything you need because i'm gonna leave at like 7 30 and i was like yeah i guess i just need the wi-fi password <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, she, and she gave me that and then she was like okay cool and i was like yeah i'm I'm good. Like I had gone to the store and bought myself snacks and all kinds of things before I got up there. And then I realized like after that, I was like, oh, she's gone. Like, it's like I would have been terrified to like go get ice or something, you know, and then it was uh, one of those things where I was like, all right, we're just in it now. Here we go. And we're about to have a full experience this weekend. Here we go. Uh, and so I, but I also had like a ton of schoolwork to do that night to like prep for like right. presentations I was giving. It would have been creepy if you were just like watching TV and waiting to hear a gremlin, like a yeah. ghoul. And you could, ghoul. you could hear the water. So it was <laughs> like you could hear, and there, it's surrounded by like residential homes. So it wasn't like by itself. So it was like fine for that night let's be honest y'all in this world of capitalism no one looks out for the little guy big businesses have such an advantage they get funding they get better rates they get privileges reserved for only the top dogs well not when we're talking about using ShipStation. okay if you run an e-commerce business you probably feel like it's about time people stop treating e-commerce giants better just because they're bigger and you are absolutely right that's why ShipStation gives e-commerce sellers of all different sizes access to the same deeply discounted rates usually reserved for fortune 500 companies no wonder ShipStation is already trusted by over a hundred thousand sellers so if you're terrified of dealing with international shipping don't be ShipStation makes it a breeze to ship anywhere in the world so scale away ShipStation can handle it i have said it before on this podcast that mailing things is my like kryptonite night i am so bad at it but with ship station we're good i don't have to like stand in line forever or worry about dealing with someone at the post office who is just not in a good mood you can set it up all from your house grace and i just used it to send out our perv boxes and it was easy breezy so you get discounted shipping rates, rates normally reserved for Fortune 500 companies. They work with over 45 carriers, so you can compare rates and delivery times to find the best option for you. And over 300 platforms like Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and more to automate processes like fulfillment and tracking. You guys, if you're starting a small business, you've got enough to worry about. Get the product made and sold, but make shipping it a breeze. So, Don't let the big guys keep all the good discounts. Sign up and using promo code TMGW for a free 60-day trial today at ShipStation.com and start saving with every shipment. That's two whole months of discounted shipping absolutely free. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in TMGW. ShipStation, make ship happen. I didn't even come up with that. That That was in the copy. Hilarious. I love it. When it comes to getting a good night's sleep, there's only one thing you need, a good mattress. Forget all the gimmicks like mattress toppers, weighted blankets. If your mattress sucks, your sleep is gonna suck. It's that simple. So get the only thing you need, a purple mattress. Only purple mattresses have the Gel Flex Grid. It's a super stretchy, ultra squishy material that adapts and flexes around pressure points and doesn't retain heat. <sighs> where all my sweaty night people at. It's amazingly supportive and cushioning in all the right places, no matter how you sleep. I've said it a million times, I've upgraded recently to a purple mattress and I love it so much. I was just away for the weekend and ooh, did I come back and just sweetly hug this mattress the best I could, I did. Getting a great night's sleep starts with having a great mattress. Get a purple mattress, go to purple.com slash TMGW10 and use code TMGW10 for a limited time. You can get 10% off any order of $200 or more. That's purple.com slash TMGW10, code TMGW10 for 10% percent off any order of two hundred dollars or more purple.com slash tmgw10 promo code tmgw10 terms apply 
did more people come or yes. were you so okay the next, i was like that's too creepy so if the it, next if it was empty all weekend so the next two nights like because i it's so funny elliot was like you got what you asked for of wanting privacy now you're in a hotel that literally is empty and it's just you you manifested <laughs> yeah. like a motherfucker i know but then the next two nights i'm coming back at night from like classes that ran till like five or six o'clock at night and the hotel filled up Thursday through the rest of the weekend. And the, the second night, I had a woman next door to me that was like clearly wasted and just having conversations like out on her balcony. But I couldn't hear any of what she was saying. But I was like, oh, OK, this filled up really quick. Then the night after that, there was and a- you crave that privacy. You were I- like, I take me back to the lonely times. <laughs> I know. And then the next <clears throat> night, there was this full couple in the room the other room that was just fighting all night and he was telling did you get any did you get any like a lot of video bites i got well i didn't get i got there was one moment where he said like you're gonna have to figure out what you want then and like slammed a door and i was like and i was like texting and calling elliot and then they went (gasps) there was like a little hot tub on the premises and they had like gone out to the hot tub and were like fighting out there no you don't take up the public hot tub with a fight you can't bring that energy to the bubbles and then but i couldn't tell if now they were coming down from their fight or if they were still in it or what or making up who knows and i just kept yeah. trying to like make a little noise next door so they knew like hey there are other people here uh so there was much much energy in that hotel after the first night so it was hard to say which um i preferred the absolute scary loneliness or the chaotic um couple yeah unpredictable couple nearby oh man i never want to be that couple i know i have been probably before i, know, I remember <laughs> like, like i'm not gonna like ever give details but no. have you ever like i was on a trip on a like a, a work thing mm-hmm. and my friend didn't realize or like one of the people I was working with didn't realize that I was in the next room and it was at like a Ramada Inn or something yeah and I fully just heard like a couple that I know having a oh oh that's the word and it was and like fully trying to be like I don't have earplugs but like I don't want to hear one of them be a total asshole and now and now I don't like them and yeah you know it was one of those things you're like no 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 this is a private conversation you guys aren't like fighting in public I know in your hotel room but it was like all right good night and then as soon as the door closed it was like why would you do that? And, I mean, I was like, yeah. oh, God, take me, like, uh-huh. fly, far, far away. What is uh-huh. it? Whatever that forest gump. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> make me a bird so I can fly. <laughs> I know. That's it. I was like, if I stand really still right now, they won't know that I'm here. But I also want them to know that someone is literally next door because they're fighting like they're yeah. by themselves completely and oh. like going out on their balcony, going back in their room, going over to the hot tub. And so I was just trying to like, close like opened my uh door to the balcony and then closed it again just so they could hear like someone was listening to them and closed it and that's when they like moved to the hot tub (gasps) area i was like okay as long as they know that like hey we can all hear you guys Um, yeah 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 just slamming doors slamming doors well i'm glad you survived yeah so the town didn't spit you out and catapult you no i think it gave me many thresholds to cross which was really great um and then i came yeah then i came home and i literally just slept and canceled everything or every conversation i needed to have yesterday and watched selling sunset which oh i crashed the i crashed the whole fifth season I of haven't the, watched. I oh, I watched. Hours. I watched like two years ago, maybe season two oh. or three, and then I just started with the most recent season. I'm not finished what? You this season. Seasons? Yeah. Well, I got the f- catch up at the beginning of it, and I was like, okay. and now because I didn't like it at first, which is weird for me with a reality show, and then I finally yeah. this and you season. Love real estate. Right. I think I didn't like it at first because the real estate that they were showing was just so in a different realm that it was like, I don't know, there's something kind of gross about how it was talked about so effortlessly. And I'm like, these are $10 million properties. Huge, huge. Insane. I I actually. okay. so did you finish it? Not yet. Um, okay, but you're going to. It's tonight. Yeah. Okay. well, here's (laughs) the deal. I told you I met Chriselle and Emma. Yes, at I know. The, so I'm connecting party. all these dots while I'm watching it yesterday and having so a great time. I met them and Emma 
well, immediately like DM'd me and was like, it's nice to meet you. And like, she's so fucking nice. It's crazy. Okay. Right? That's what I was hoping. She seems fun. She's so sweet. Like she laughs, makes like vegan and bananas. My... So listen to this. Yeah. Have you gotten to the episode where she goes on a date at yes. Mexican place? In, the, in, in my neighborhood? I, that's what I was going to text you about I yesterday. Went there on Sat- I went there on Saturday Okay. with Claire. Uh-huh. And because Claire had a baby and then she was like, uh, I'm ready for to have a drink now. And I was like, <laughs> I get to be your first drink back. So I was like, let's go to this new place in my neighborhood, Sagrado. I was wondering because, if it was open. Yeah. Because me and Claire love Mezcal, mm-hmm. right? So I go. And we eat a bunch of food, and it's really good. Yeah. And I get the Beyond Meat empanadas. <gasps> and then I go I the next day, watch Selling Sunset, and on the episode, it's like, Emma yep. is at that restaurant and having a date, yep. and he agrees to sell her empanadas. And I was like... Oh, wait, so, so you I- didn't know that before you went to the place? No! I thought that's why you went. Okay. No, okay. it's just, it's a new restaurant in my neighborhood that has yeah. mezcal. So I've been wanting to check it out. So anyway, I go, I DM Emma. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a T. Te- now we're just like a Hollywood glo- gossip uh, <laughs> Sorry, podcast. <guys. laughs> oh, she's active now. Okay. So I DM her and I go, girl. <laughs> I s- <laughs> Did you spell with U's or I's? <laughs> Four I's. Four, Four I's. I's. Okay. Okay. I said, girl, I literally ate at Sagrado last night because it's four blocks from my house. I had the empanadas. Then I watched Selling Sunset and realized they were yours. They're so fucking good as vegetarian. Highly appreciate. And she goes, oh, my God. Wow. This just made my whole night. Thank you so much. I love this. Like, she's a sweetheart. (gasps) Empanadas are good. They're really good. Good to know. Good to know. I know. I was going to text you and be like, I know you watch the show. You must know what this place is or if it even opens. So, okay. There we go. Um, Wild. And, and they're having a reunion soon. So obviously I got to get all the episodes in before I see what you the reunion is. I, well, because I was Instagram storying about how headbands have gotten too big. That's what I did. I saw you Instagram stormi- storying about the big headbands, which I thought was hilarious. And I didn't realize what you were watching. And then cut to two hours later, me sitting on my couch under a weighted blanket, just like unable to move going, ha ha, I get it now. <laughs> headbands though, they're the size of your headphones yeah right now. yeah they massive. look like one of those babies who like still has a soft spot so they put put yeah. them in like a little yep. like 1920s football helmet <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah they look like weird half rugby helmets yes oh my god oh another thing happened to me this week that was like ugh, crazy yeah so when i leave the house i to walk beans in the morning with my coffee mm-hmm. like i'm fully a trash monster like, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't care what anyone thinks of me in my neighborhood. Yeah. Naomi I, Ekbergen, I always yeah, forget yeah. Her, how to say her last name. She's so funny. Her Netflix, on her Netflix special, she talks about walking her dog with no bra. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And like no one should talk to her. And she goes, don't approach me when I'm swanging. <laughs> <laughs> Killed me. I was like, yes. Like, do, like cross the street if you see my titties yeah. penduluming. You know, like I'm walking my dog. It's like I'm not those, putting a bra on with a sweatshirt. Those uh, things that they'd have in front of like science stores where it's like those hanging five balls and one <laughs> swings and hits the one on the other and it swings and hits the one on the other <laughs> to like learn inertia yeah. or something. Yeah. So well, I'm, I'm swinging. I'm full nature store. Yeah. Uh, and. And I'm like, this will be fine. I'll just walk beans really quick. And then we're like two blocks from my house. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, hello, little white fluffy dog. And waiting for the owner to come out. I'm like, "Hmm, where's where's the owner? Yeah. You know, we do have a couple like houses in our neighborhood where I've seen people just let their dog out to pee. And then like, you know, I've I've been like, where are you going, little dog? And then the dog immediately goes inside its gate. And it's like, I'm fucking an independent canine like stranger danger get away from you're not gonna save me you freak yeah (laughs) Yeah. so i'm like "Hmm, okay oh but now this dog is crossing the road okay (laughs) so then so i like keep my distance i come over he's like really excited to see me and then is just and then is like just peeing and moving and i pick beans up because i'm like let me see if this dog is lost and i don't want beans to scare it yeah so i basically stay back like 10 yards i follow this dog for 45 minutes (gasps) all around our neighborhood (gasps) Every time we pass someone, I'm like, do you know this dog? It doesn't have a collar on. I'm like, do you know this dog? And they're like, no, is it lost? I'm like, I think it might be like, yeah, dogs don't walk 
for 45 Around minutes. Around <laughs> different blocks by itself. Like this guy, yeah. this dog isn't getting its 10,000 steps in, it's you know? It's not mall walking right now. <laughs> no. So I'm like, this dog's fucking lost. So I see another dog walk, a guy with his two dogs. I'm like, do you know this dog? No, is it lost? Oh no. And I was like, yeah, I've been following it for like 45 minutes, um, hoping that it like turns into its house, but it hasn't. And he was like, oh, thank you for doing that. And then I was like, do you have treats? Do you have any mm. treats? And he was like, yeah, I do. So I grab, so I got the treats from him just to be like, if this dog takes off or something, yeah, like yeah. if I need to get, right? So we turn the corner and we're going and it's like, there's one block between us and like the main fucking road. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, like shit. with a best spot. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm like, all right, at some point, and when it gets closer, I'm gonna have to figure this out. So we're like probably 20 yards from the main road. Little floppy guy, just peeing everywhere. You yeah. Know, just sniffing everywhere. And I'm like, oh, he's so fucking lost. So I... I've been holding beans this whole time. She's sweaty. She's fully a tiny wet seal. Like, what is going on? What are we she's doing? Like, cool walk. Yeah. Yeah. I walked two blocks, didn't poop, and now yeah. I'm on a ride. <laughs> so I take her, of course, the harness would be too small for this dog. Mm-hmm. So I take her leash and then I'm like, hey, buddy, and give it a treat. Yeah. And then I wrap the leash like around its neck and then basically create Clip like it. a fake, a yeah. fake leash yeah. in and of itself. And I'm like, all right. I'm going to walk with you around the block to the to the like small animal hospital and we're going to see if you're chipped. Ah, uh, so yeah. I take it. We walk like three more blocks and then he just stops in front of a gate. I'm like, OK, uh-huh. is this your house? I open the gate, goes right in, stands <gasps> at the door and I'm like, OK, we found the house like we've been like yeah. it's been forever. Uh, we we did it. So I knock and I'm like terrified. Yeah. You know? I mean, the only thing worse than like oh no is this dog lost is oh no is someone watching me thinking i'm like this freak white woman who steals dogs the second they leave their house (laughs) yeah so i knock no answer and then a neighbor this woman right beside is like taking out her like comes outside to take out her trash and i go does this dog live here and she goes oh my god corky (gasps) and i go so you know first night basis i'm thinking she goes yeah corky's their dog Uh, but are they not answering? And I'm like, no. And so I go over and she's like, yeah, like they had a different dog that got loose like a year ago. And like oh, shoot. The, the the guy who lives here is getting older. But like this is like, well, yeah, this yeah. is their dog. Like they're going to be. And she like took my cell phone. She was like, I'm sure they're going to want to thank you. They never did. <laughs> uh, but like it was wow. so funny. And the funniest part about it, Corky the girl. Yeah. Is because like Chip's uncle who I was friends with for four years at summer camp yeah. and how I know Chip is Corky. And I was like, of course, I, uh, another Corky in my life giving me trouble. Uh, but so yeah, I saved a dog. Good for you. Um, you've been saving lots is, of things. I feel like you've been rescuing people's credit cards, people's like whatever. Oh, their keys, their They're, keys, yeah. But before that, there was like a friend that needed a credit card picked up at a bar that I'm like, you've yes, just been I'm, literally <laughs> saving everyone's stuff. <laughs> I think I am the hero of my neighborhood. I love that. I've been, I've been eating people's empanadas. <laughs> just really, just um, really doing it for the community. Truly. So I miss that little guy. Also, there's got to be CCTV footage of you for 45 minutes in your neighborhood following this dog around and just with beans in your arms walking behind it and stalking it like you've been a private investigator. <laughs> I mean, truly just being like, see all where right, it's going. buddy, yeah. what are we doing here? I'm just talking to it the whole time. Oh, no, but I do have footage. <laughs> it's on my phone. I've, I've shown no one. It's just for me. Uh-huh. Is I was coming home from an event uh, with a friend with Jacqueline yeah. last week, and I am <laughs> walking up to my house, and um, and I see Beans. Beans is like waiting at the door, so I'm like, "Oh, hey, little girl, hey, little girl!" And then as I'm unlocking the door, I just ripped ass <laughs> so hard that I went back into my Nest Cam footage, and it extracted it the footage, and cut it as a clip for me to watch when I need to laugh. I'm like, oh. I was like, I have to go back and see if the camera picked up that audio. And maybe it did. Oh, which makes me wonder who else picked up that audio who, nearby. I know, truly. For eight blocks away, Corky was like, there she is. Oh, my. Oh, by the way, though, huh. I said this on I might in script story or something. I don't know. When I was at that event, it was like for a media company. I don't know what it was. It was very small. It was only like 50 people. Yeah. Um, And... 
and we're sitting there and the CEO is talking about like they made a deal with this delivery company and now they're going to be like 100% like carbon no carbon footprint kind okay. of thing like it you know it was like CEO talk I yeah, mean, it's yeah. cool but it was like everyone's just listening mm -hmm. and then there's this guy like right two feet away from me that's kind of fidgeting you know like messing with his beer label kind of like you know not as dressed up as everyone else it's Robert Pattinson <laughs> He this. is so skinny. I bet. The Batman? The Batman, the Batman. needs new Adidas. Oh. Well, let's just say that, okay? Whoa. The Batman. The Batman, uh, like, <laughs> but he's so intense looking. I bet. I that, bet. Like, if he was not who he, if he was just a regular Joe Schmo. Yeah. And he came up to me and was like, do you want to go out? I think I'd be scared. Yeah, well, you know, he's like he's like angular. It's work he's for like him. Smoldering. He might be still in his character. Who knows? Oh, <laughs> you, think he's, you think he's Batmaning till the sequel? I, don't, I I mean, he is like that in the movie. He has a bit oh. of a like, uh, like he's always holding yeah. in a fart really hard. Um, yeah. Well, I saw I've seen people taking videos, which I think is so funny, of trying to watch the Batman during the day. You can't even see the screen. No, you can't. The screen at all. is just black. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Um, last thing, oh man. Last thing I will say. Oh yeah. Is that our pitch to Tyler and Corey has gotten picked up by their podcast, yes. um, and they now put it out to their audience that if they oh. uh, want to see do some us. Dates? in some joint tour to tweet at all of us. I love that. Did you see know. that Corey totally started a uh, ruckus? What's so funny I only is caught up this morning. So that's what I'm saying. It's been a chaos, it's like chaos. roller Whoa, coaster this, of what's going on online. This past Friday, um, my friend Steve, well, our friend Steve and Soren came over yeah. for the drag race finale. Yeah. And literally when we, so we turned on the TV and I think it was, it might've been right after or maybe like we turned on Drag Race early and on VH1 it was the end of Mean Girls. Well, that's, he and talks about I, that in well, the podcast. No, well, that's, oh, that was right before Drag Race. Yeah. Okay, so we are watching mm -hmm. that part. We turn on TV that part and Steve goes, did it really take her hours to do her hair? Wow. And then I go like, right, me too. And then he goes home and I see the tweet from Corey and I screen grab it and I send it to Steve. And I was like, my friend Corey literally just tweeted the same thing we said. Yep. And then I see it gets picked up by E. And Everywhere. that the girl responds. And that now like it was on Betches. And like, I was just like. <laughs> Everywhere. Everyone's been thinking it for years. <laughs> and finally, someone had the courage to say it on a social media platform. I I love it. As Corey says, he's funny on the internet again. <laughs> yeah. No, it's so funny. But it, I would be pissed if I was that actress. It's like, oh, great. I have totally normal hair. And she says it takes hours. It's like if someone came up to me, and I was like, wow, you've really lost weight. I'd be like, fuck you. No. <laughs> we, we all have eyes. <laughs> anyway. exactly so there's been uh, much going on in the world all yes. around which is beautiful um oh, but i'm happy God. that they seem they seem all into right. it so let's do it who knows uh, let's do it happen. let's do some more tour dates guys we're trying to get shows in london and dublin so we'll see if that happens yeah 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 uh, so we can come hang out and we all know my fuck's sake my powers of manifestation so with great power comes great responsibility so i have to be pretty wow. smart about this now yeah there we go all right well Woo! this has been a blast yes. i have to go listen to some punk music in the desert i guess <laughs> there you go i have to go get reacclimated to the world Woo! Uh, this got weird mm-hmm